come this way. It's pretty wide awake, he's moving around a bit. Good morning everybody. Uh, it is a Saturday morning and uh, heading out on a call to one of the big wildlife reserves in the area. Um, the caller is at a uh, private camp and they've just seen a large black mamba go into one of their storerooms and um, they need it moved back into the bush. They've got people working in the area and they're concerned about their safety. Um, so it's, it's quite a big one. Uh, he reckons about two and a half meters. I've got quite a drive to get out there. It's probably going to take me at least an hour to get there. Um, they are watching the storeroom um, so hopefully this snake does stick around and I can uh, can get it and it's not a waste to drive but uh, it is part of the Greater Kruger National Park so um, there's a chance of seeing all kinds of wildlife along the way everything from elephant, lion, buffalo, you name it. So either way it's going to be a nice drive out there but uh, still hoping the snake will be there and we can safely capture it and uh, move it back into the bush. Just arrived at the location finally a good hour and a half since the call out so hopefully the snake is here holding thumbs How's it? How's it? No, I've got a picture of the one. Oh, Andy. I'm Andy. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank you. Okay. No worries. Thanks for calling. Right, so. So you he came in like this from yeah. there and yeah. I tried to throw a stone in there. I reckon yeah. he's at the back here somewhere. Okay. He went through the jeep like this. Yeah. And I thought uh, if he tried to get in there, yes. he heard him go, oh, yeah, and yeah. he's big and he like knocks stuff. He's going, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. At least it's pretty open, you know. I've yeah. been to when you say storeroom, I've been to some storerooms that are Worse absolutely that. packed. No, I mean, jeez. So I went and I closed that window. The window was open for okay, quite a long time, perfect, but yeah. I couldn't close. But okay. there's hornets on the other side. Yeah, you would have seen, uh, would have seen, seen them climb up. Okay, let's first thing first. Let's locate it. And you probably would have seen him moving around if you or heard him come this way at all, eh? Okay. So maybe my Yeah. Let's make sure. There's any way he could have got into this generator. Yeah, for sure. That I'm kind of thinking. As I approached here, I thought I heard something uh, inside this generator. I don't see anywhere obvious here. I think you know what I heard. This cover of this generator. Dude. Yeah. I've just seen all the bolts are off. Yeah, my gut tells me that it's in there. I don't see it anywhere obvious in this corner. I don't see where it could be hiding here either. All right, let me just make a little bit of space here. Okay. I 
think it's okay then. I've got quite a bit of room here. And as I, as I walked up, I thought I heard something moving here. But I like to work slowly and just systematically, you know, no rush. Well, then why do you have if you can fix the generator? No, <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Slide off the handle with that. I think that cover is just leaving there. Okay. It looks like it. And the handle comes with the cover. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. Wait, he is inside yeah. There he's sticking his head out. Just stuck his head out there when I moved it. Like yeah. It looks like it might be in the blue as well. Just waiting for him to move into a more favorable position. See, I can grab him, but I can't see how close I am to the head. Yeah. Uh, and once I grab him, then he gets all excited, you know, so it's best. I kind of like to wait just until the right moment instead of getting him like really riled up, you know. Just can't get him. I might have to take this off. It's amazing, I saw you like hold his like head there and you just wait for him to like yeah. reverse a little bit then you Yeah, generally mambas will reverse in the tongs. The trick is not to grab him too far forward. Obviously that he can't be 
that it can't turn on me. Yeah. It won't reach back on me. Um, in this case, he had really got his head behind there, so I had him quite far back, yeah. but uh, I could feel that he was wanting to reverse. So I could get him quickly to reverse, and I know I'm at least safe in the terms of the distance from the tongs. Right, guys, as you would have seen, I uh, just managed to uh, capture that mamba and uh, we're now going to go out onto the farm and uh, release it. Uh, the uh, property owners are coming with me. They're going to take me to a dam and we can go and release the snake in a nice spot. Right, I'll come and we can do it over here. Yeah. I don't like that.